Hello everyone, this is EdRay1416 here with a video on why certain repair shops are in trouble. Remember when people learned how to repair stuff? In the old days, shoe repairs were common because shoes used to be very expensive. Then in the late 1960s, a new generation of shoes emerged, essentially killing off shoe repair shops. Why was that bad? Because the pair of shoes back then would last up to five years depending on how well you took care of them. Sure, you couldn't prevent the erosion of the soles of the shoes, but you could repair holes, refurbish those shoes for years to come. My great-grandfather was a shoe repairman. Then he retired in 1983. Now the other repair shop you don't see very often anymore are TV repair shops. Why is that? Because there's a notion that when flat screen TV power supplies are dead, the TV in general is dead. So what do the baby boomers and millennials do? They throw out the old TV and waste 400 to $2,000 for a new TV. Isn't that retarded? If you know how a modern TV works, all you do is disassemble the TV, check the capacitors on the motherboard, and figure out why the TV isn't turning on. If the power chip got fried, then you gotta get a new power chip, remove the old chip, and solder in the new chip. Fixing a modern TV is easier said than done, of course, but if done right, you save hundreds of dollars. And if you decide to sell TVs for a living, you will make a profit. Now, I don't see this often, but computer repair shops. Computer repair shops used to be common in my town, but then people decided to buy new motherboards on the internet, mod the motherboard to increase memory quality so their computers would perform a lot better. Why are those people taking a risk rather than trusting the shops? Because they want to use those PCs for online gaming instead of researching and rendering higher quality videos. Then there's this notion that people want to upgrade hard drives and invest in external hard drives so they mine cryptocurrency. As much as I like cryptocurrency, mining them yourselves is not only time consuming, but it can also cost you a lot of money in the long run. What do I mean? Having to upgrade technology constantly, external hard drives for more memory is a hassle, and the electric bills skyrocket. I would rather invest in a cloud mining contract because they have the technology to sustain themselves and we do not lose money paying exorbitant electric bills. Because these people want to mod their own computers mainly for gaming and cryptocurrency mining purposes, computer repair shops are struggling. Will these shops ever come back? I want to believe that the TV repair shops will come back because, let's face it, every time there is a problem with the TV and the warranty expires, why would you want to buy a brand new TV for the average low price of $400? Why not bring your TV to a repair shop and pay $50 to $75 for the repair? Better yet, if you want to repair your TV yourself, why not buy the items you need for pennies on the dollar? Money saved either way. As for shoe repair shops, unless there are independent shoemakers that make shoes the old-fashioned way right here in America, I unfortunately don't see them coming back. Make no mistake about it. The shoe repair business used to be a good business back then. Kids getting paid a dime an hour to be apprentices for the local shoe company learning how to repair and maintain shoes. Thanks to child labor laws, if the shoe repair business came back, owners had to hire the kids that are 16 years or older. It's ludicrous to have to teach kids work ethics this late thanks to government regulation. But that's pretty much the downfall of general repairs. The only repair shops that are flourishing are automobile repairs and electrical repairs. Anyway, I'm Ed Ray, and I'm out of here.